My name is Roald Magie. I'm a black diamond from the Netherlands. Well, there's not a lot to be proud of, to be honest. I was in school, actually, because my parents wanted me to go to school and uh, because I did not know really what I wanted out of life, I did what they said. And then in uh, 2002, I was invited for network marketing for the first time. And uh, my parents didn't like it at all because of course they wanted me to finish school, but I saw the way to freedom. I saw a way to work uh, for myself and work with whoever I wanted and, and just decide whatever I want on my own. And then uh, in the beginning, of course, there was no fast success. And I had to learn a lot, uh, go through a lot of obstacles. And during this period, my parents, yeah, they, they emphasized on the fact that I made the wrong decision. But then finally, uh, things took off. And uh, since then, they understood why I made that decision in my life. And now they know that school was probably not the right vehicle for me. Well, actually, I was lucky uh, because of two things. The first one is uh, I believe that the first company I was a part of really invested a lot of energy into the personal development. And I believe that's very important, uh, especially for new people. Uh, the second thing was that I'm living, or I was living in the north of the Netherlands and there was nobody there. So my whole upline was in the south and nobody wanted to come to the north of the Netherlands. So uh, without me actually knowing it, I had to find out really quick what to do and how to do it if I wanted to become successful. So by failing a lot in the beginning, step by step, I learned fast how to do it on my own and I didn't really need anybody. So in the beginning, especially in the six, uh, first six months, I had actually a lot of success. But then I came to this certain rank and this was a rank uh, where you were supposed to make all the money. And then somehow without you knowing, you do a step back because you think you made it. And then, uh, yeah, that's where things go wrong. I always call it the echo effect. You know, you work hard and even if you stop working, results may continue for a while. But then at, after maybe two or three months later, the results drop down and yeah, then you understand that you need to keep on going. So that's a uh, that's few, uh, few problems, few obstacles I had to overcome by uh, looking in the mirror and uh, taking the things into my own hands and taking responsibility all the time for everything that I did not like. You get these people, they want everything by doing nothing and uh, that's never gonna work out. I do believe that network marketing is an environment where you have a lot of tools and support available. So you build your own business, you build everything for yourself, but not by yourself. So there's actually a lot of people that want to help. And if you are coachable, then I know 100% sure that the right people will give you the full support to, uh, to, to get what you want. But you need to focus on, on your goals. And uh, I think the three keys actually uh, to success is that one of them is you have to be coachable. The second one is to take action and I even prefer massive action. Third one is just don't quit. You, know, you will see all obstacles and there will be times that you want to quit and you want to believe all the people around you that's, that say uh, you're never going to make it, it's not for you. And, but those are the times that I believe that you, that you will become strong. And it's not about uh, things becoming easier, it's about you becoming stronger to overcome those obstacles easier. Well, I believe in some things you can see, say that network marketing is, is easy to do. But because most people, they need this boss telling them all day what to do, uh, otherwise they won't do it. So at the same time, you can say that network marketing is also very easy not to do. So uh, it all begins uh, with, a, with a why. What is your goal? What do you want? What do you want to get out of network marketing? And for me, it was the solution at the time I was recruited for the, for the first company. I saw an opening to my life. You know, until then I was going day by day. I was not happy at all and doing what I did. So I believe if you have a very powerful, strong why, a why that makes you cry, then that will be the first step of even creating the habit. Because if you don't like what you do or you don't like where you're going, it doesn't matter what kind of habits you have, it will still be very difficult. So you got to love what you do. And then you, have to, have to, you need to have a daily routine. So it means get up in the morning and you need to do the things. It's in the beginning, it's like uh, training a muscle. In the beginning, it might be 
a little bit stiff, but when you do it day by day by day, it becomes a habit and you will get frustrated by not doing it. And that's the point where you want to go. So it gets a lot of training, you need a lot of discipline and commitment, and you need to be responsible and accountable to the people around you and especially to yourself. Well, of course, yeah, if you have a lifestyle and you have freedom around you and uh, I just had my fourth uh, baby, a son, and uh, it's two months old now and I can spend all day with him, I can bring him to conventions and those are the moments that you realize that what you did had real value. You know, all the obstacles, all the pain, all the frustration, you forget about it, it's, it's not there anymore. All the times where I didn't have the money, and uh, there were so many distractions and even sitting at home doubting yourself or maybe be start believing all the negative people around you maybe they are right and i cannot really do it but i'm so glad that i never stopped and not only because of network marketing but because of the person you have to become now i heard jim Rohn once say that everybody should become a millionaire not because of the money but because of the process they have to go through to become a millionaire it's it's great for personal development now being one of the top people in the industry to me personally i'm from the netherlands and even from a very conservative part of a conservative country so it's not really about me but i love to see people in my network going through the same process and i can lead them and i can tell them what i went through and that is all part of of their development and then see them succeed that is actually the real value of network marketing it's easy to say when you have the money, of course, and when people tell me that money is not important or money cannot buy happiness. Sometimes I understand what they want to say, but it, to be sure it's bull. I cannot finish the word, but it's not a nice, you know, money does buy happiness. There's many examples I can give you that where money is there, it can make a change. If you have somebody in the family that's sick and you need a surgery or operation, cost money, you can help. If somebody has no home anymore and you can pay something for them so they can live under a roof. You know, if you, my mother-in-law, she's working all day, all night and never has any time for holiday and we brought her to holidays three times last year. So, and you see the smile on her face and that is giving you the, the, the happiness that you're looking for. So I always say that money is not important for the people that have enough. I'm actually living the dream right now that I wanted to have 17 years ago when I started network marketing. So uh, you, you want to dream big, but still you don't have the guts to dream everything already. So you, that's a process and you keep expanding your dream. And to me, it, it's not about the money anymore. I like to buy things, of course, and I like to have money and I like to do nice things. Uh, but to me, contribution, giving back, uh, and I believe giving is something that you do without uh, expecting something back that is the feeling that you want out of life and of course you start with the family around you there's a lot of family members and friends that I already helped uh, through my career but in the future my dream is to for sure set up some uh, uh, companies or whatever to, to give support to people that, that don't really have a chance you know we we work every day with people and we try to create a better mindset with them but they are just insecure. They can do it, but they are either lazy or they have not enough belief in themselves or they listen to the wrong people. So on some level, you can feel sorry for them, but it's not, not the same for people that just have a completely different situation. They come out of countries or areas where there's just no education or no money at all. And I would love going in the future uh, to, to finance schools and things like that to have also better chances for those people.